Many thanks to PCB Wave for sponsoring this video. Good day everyone and welcome back to DX Explorer for another video uh, from a new location at this point. Uh, the reason why I have all the pinkish flowers in the background uh, is my portable uh, office or uh, workshop on wheels at this point. It's a long story, we'll talk about it in some other video. I'm going to try to be short because I don't have too much free time, that's the reason why I'm posting videos a little bit late. Um, today it's about uh, an audio filter. I built this filter before when I first started the YouTube channel and uh, I was working on the Sputnik region receiver and I wanted uh, an audio uh, CW filter. Um, recently I made a video about an active um, audio filter for CW based on transistors but this one I liked it uh, also and it was based on a, an inductor and a couple of capacitors. So um, I wanted to recreate that video because it was pretty bad. I was at the beginning and I wanted a better video for my um, uh, for the blog article. And also I'm trying to improve it a little bit um, the, um, in a way that it will also allow me to uh, change the center frequency of the filter a little bit so I can play around depending on what I like. So anyway, I'll put the schematic on the screen really quick. You can have a look um, to see what's the plan that I have at this point. I'm not sure about the final results and how it's going to sound. Uh, I'm going to play it by ear. I'm not going to do too many calculations and stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get to work, uh, rebuild it really quick and then later on um, we'll do a test and uh, see how it sounds. You already know that PCB Way offers great PCB prototyping services, PCB assembly, SMD stencils, CNC, 3D printing, and even more. But right now, you can unlock your color PCB printing with PCB Way. Find out more about the new UV printing technology offered by PCB Way. Have a look at the link down below in the video description and read the blog article written on the PCB Way website. Find out more details on how you can create unique PCB board designs just for you. Remember, PCB way is the way. Okay, so um, I finished uh, building the filter. It's already late in the evening. Um, it took me a while because I, I worked on it uh, now and then. It looks a lot better than the original one that I built um, in the first video, which by the way, I'm going to have to delete it because I'm trying to keep the blog and the channel updated. And uh, this was uh, the last video that I wanted to remake and replace the older one. So um, here's the whole filter finished, not much to it. Uh, the most important thing for me, it was the inductor and I used the core, I think it's a ferrite core material 43 uh, from some filter. Um, I think it was in a power supply from a computer or something like that. I just recovered this one and I put 550 tons of 0.2 wire and I think the total inductance of the of the inductor is 140 micro henrys. Um, over here I have two capacitors. They are 240 uh, nanofarads each, and I can switch. Uh, one of them is connected uh, all the time, and the second one I can switch it in and out. Um, I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. And then I have another um, 1000 nanofarads, basically one, one uh, microfarad capacitor, which is non-polarized, uh, going to ground according to the schematic that I presented earlier on the screen. And uh, that's it. And I have a potentiometer. So if we take a closer look, here I have the output of the filter. Here's the input. And uh, the switch allows me to change between... Um, uh, changing the, the center frequency of the filter. So if I have this uh, on the low position, uh, the center frequency is uh, 610 hertz or something like that, basically 600 hertz. And uh, if I move it on the other side and I uh, remove one of the capacitors from the circuit, from these two capacitors, the center frequency will go up to 800 hertz, I believe or 700, I can't remember, <laughs> um, I think 800 hertz. So um, the potentiometer, it's um, 
is here just to allow me to change the bandwidth of the filter so if I put it all the way up basically the filter is like uh, non-existent um, and the signal is bypassing the filter and is going straight from the input to the output and then if I go somewhere in the middle uh, the filter is somehow active but I can still hear a little bit of the the regular signals and then with the filter all the way down um, it's basically fully the signal is fully filtered and uh, yeah it sounds pretty nice I really like it and it's very very simplistic and um, it might be rudimentary but uh, it's efficient <laughs> I like it and it's very simple so uh, tonight I'm going to test it with a little roux just because I didn't use this one much uh, I didn't have the time and uh, this is actually uh, as I was saying um, passive um, audio filter for CW but uh, while, what I'm going to do I'm going to connect the little roux to the filter and then from the filter I'm gonna use the audio amplifier that we built some while ago the one based on transistors and uh, this way basically the audio amplifier together with the filter it will become some sort of uh, active um, audio filter for CW. So let's connect everything really quick and have a listen, uh, see how it sounds. So um, I connected the little roux to the filter and then the filter goes to the audio amplifier and then from the audio amplifier I'm going to uh, put this one into the Tascam audio recorder so you can get the audio straight from this one. So I'm going to cut my microphone and uh, you'll be able to listen to whatever is in here. I'm going to play around with the um, uh, with the bandwidth of the filter and you'll be able to see how it sounds when it's uh, the signal is fully filtered and uh, when it's cancelled and also I will play around with the center frequency if you have um, a multi position switch maybe more than two uh, you can um, place as many capacitors as you want and uh, change the center frequency maybe uh, you will be able to switch from 500 hertz center frequency to 600 to 700 800 uh, you can uh, cu customize it as much as you want so anyway let's have a listen really quick and uh, hopefully you'll like it <laughs> All right, so uh, that's it for today. I hope you like it. I hope uh, you find it useful. And even though it's a very simple and rudimentary uh, audio filter, these flies are killing me, by the way. Um, yeah, I hope you find it useful. I love the fact that it's very, very simple. And um, still, even though it's simple, it's uh, pretty efficient. And uh, hopefully it will help you receive some better CW signals, especially if you're using simple equipment that has no filtering at all. So anyway, uh, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, 73 from Yankee Oscar 6, Delta X Echo.